October is just about in reach, and I figured today we could spend just a little bit of time going through 10 red hot Switch games coming up in October. And, and you're and you're gonna say, Eric, why did you only say 10 when there's exactly, 11? Exactly, that's exactly I what knew I was you were gonna say that. Say. Now the reason it is 11 is because I had to put one extra in here. I couldn't curate the list down to 10, so we're going with 11. Anyway, now let's jump straight into this list and say the first one up here is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Uh, yeah, so I played I played the original ukulele and mm. it was quite enjoyable. And this one's just a slightly different format. You, you know what I like about this game? We haven't had a Donkey Kong Country style game this year. <laughs> Sorry, uh, like they didn't bring back the classics on on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System online system. We didn't get to play it on there, and so we finally get to play a new type of Donkey Kong. And the reason I'm comparing it to that is because it has a lot of similar elements. Yeah, and don't mention Donkey Kong not being on the SNES online. I know, <laughs> makes me angry. <laughs> My heart. Yeah. Okay. So we get to play a game that's similar to that. And this one looks like it's really unique take on it. It has an overworld that's actually in 3D as well. And that seems to have elements of like unlocking separate areas to get into other areas. So it looks really interesting. I'm looking forward to checking this bad boy out. Yeah, exactly. Me too. Now that comes out on the 8th. And what also comes out on the 8th is Trine 4 plus the Trine Collection. Yeah. So there's a Trine you got the Trine Collection, didn't you? I did, because I've, I've never played any of the Trine games before, so I'm like, oh, four-pack, yeah, I'm definitely going to get if that. You're, if you're interested in getting the Trine games, which we'll go into what they are in a second, keep an eye out for a physical, because I do see a lot of people picking them up cheaper. Yes. Which means that you'll be able to get all the games in one pack cheaper than buying them separately, if that's what you want to try. But the Trine games are really interesting. I like them, Nat. You always find a way to bring up Lost Vikings. And, that, and I was about to. <laughs> that's exactly what you're about to do, because these games are similar to Lost Vikings. Yeah, exactly. I had a lot of fun with the Lost Vikings games as a kid and grow, <laughs> grown up through the years. I, you know, I, I still play them to this day. Okay. I feel like, you know, when we're comparing to games, we probably shouldn't compare it to a game that's like over 20 or probably 30 years old at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is, is you play as three different characters, all with their own abilities, and you switch between these characters to guess puzzle so solving in different yeah. ways like yeah. you might be the wizard who can create boxes you might be the sword guy who actually has an attack and um can physical attack and put up a shield to block things or you might be the ranger who can like shoot a rope out of things and, and catch onto them to to create like a what would you call the rope that would catch onto things that you'd move across now a uh, like a grapple yes. exactly you create like a grapple <laughs> different things like that yeah yeah so this is an interesting game and that like you said now that's coming up on the 8th on the 12th we have one that we've actually just recently covered that we have so killer queen black now, if you want to, I'll link that video up here if you want to find it, so you can you can find that. But Killer Queen Black is a interesting little eight-player multi -ga multiplayer game. Exactly. So again, this looks like a great multiplayer game to play with all your mates. Yeah, I won't go on about this one for too yeah, long because we've exactly. already done the whole video about yep. it. But it does look really interesting, yep. and it looks like a whole bunch of friend if, a friend <laughs> fun if you want to get some friends together and just have a, a little bit of a romp. Exactly. Now, on the 15th of October, we have Overwatch. Overwatch? What's a romp, by the way? No. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch we have coming out on the 15th. Are you into Overwatch at all, Nat? I've never played it. Okay. I, I saw you play a little bit of it. I didn't think it would be the type of game that I'll ever get into. And like, it's coming out on the Switch. I don't know. I still don't see me getting into it, to be honest. I'm down, I'm down with Overwatch. I don't. I won't buy it again for the Switch because I've bought it once and I, I, I'm not throwing more cash at it at this stage. Maybe when it comes down a bit. But Overwatch is a really fun game. And yeah. like, to anyone who's never played it before, it's one of those games people refer to as a hero shooter. So you pick a different hero, they all have their different abilities, and you're trying to work to different objectives. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that is coming out on the 15th, but on the 16th, Nat, we have a little game called Little Town Hero. Yeah, so now this one is one game that I'm quite excited for. It's the other game being made by Game Freak. Yeah, and I wasn't expecting this to come out this year. Here's Little Town Hero. It's coming out in October. I'm like, whoa, okay, cool. And, um, I'm kind of packed, guys. <laughs> and it's also a lot cheaper than I was expecting it to be. And yeah. I am a little bit sad that it's not getting a physical release. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm definitely sad it's not getting the physical. But it is cheaper than I was expecting. Because mm. going into this, I thought this is Game Freak. They're putting a big budget into this game. Yeah. They're going to put this... You know, big game together but this seems more similar to what their old kind of smaller games they've done stuff like pocket card jockey uh 
Harmonite, stuff like that that they've okay. done in the past. That are just smaller projects okay. uh, yep. that they sell on like the, the 3DS eShop and things like that. Okay. So, kind I, of like their side games yeah, to Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's going to be the case. It could still be really big. I'm interested mm. to see what they actually get out of this. Uh, and the, the combat and everything looks really interesting. And, it does. And kind of complex. So that, that I think that'll be something that they always manage to make games that are like, why is why am I like pocket card jockey? Why am I playing as a, a jockey using Solitaire or whatever they were using. Yeah, exactly. And with this game, I am excited to see how they do actually manage to make a whole game around one town. Mm. Like, if they're going to keep it fresh, if they're going to keep it exciting and not kind of just, oh, it's more of the same. Yeah. Little Town Hero is releasing on the 16th, but on the 15th, for some reason we went backwards (laughs) here, (laughs) we have The Witcher. I'm excited for The Witcher. You're looking forward to The Witcher. I am. I've been over I definitely the am. I'm, I'm glad that you're looking... Like, I've already played part of it, but yep. I'm glad that you're looking forward to The Witcher. Now, if you're getting into it, you'd probably already know this. The Switch version is not going to be as crisp and beautiful as those other versions because they're running on more powerful systems. Oh, yeah, on, of course. And only on your TV, but this is your portable version. Yeah, exactly. But if you know what you're getting into yep. with this, Nat, I think you're going to love it. I think so, too. Like, I've always actually wanted to play it, but it's just a game I've never got around to, but... Now it's on my Switch, which is, you know, the system I always play. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll play it. I'm not going to get into it again. I mean, I, I like The Witcher, but I don't, I don't have time to start that, that whole RPG <laughs> oh, again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Digimon Nat is coming out on the 18th. Yeah, so this is the two-pack, the uh, Cyber Sleuth. Yes, this is Cyber Sleuth and Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. It is. Now, we did actually get it on the PS4, but never actually tried it. Also mentioned I did a Digimon video. Again, I'll try to link that up there somewhere. And you can go check that out to see more information on the Digimon games. But yeah, we did get the PS4 version, never tried it. So this is just a double pack of both of those games if you want to get into that. I am enjoying seeing double pack games. Oh, yeah, come yeah, back. definitely. <laughs> it is a good way to bring back like, multiple of those yep. games. Uh, and these are t- two really good JRPGs, apparently. I mean, I haven't, like we said, I haven't got into them myself, but from all accounts and what I've heard, these are great JRPGs to jump into. Okay, so I just throw the term JRPG in front of me and I'm sold. <laughs> apparently not. I, I've noticed that. <laughs> so that's coming out on the 18th, again on the 18th now. By the way, the 18th is going to be a big day. Oh, it is super packed. We've got Ring Fit Adventure. That we do another video, which we can link to up here. <laughs> I, I, I can only have so many I can link to. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, RPG? RP- so, okay, is this, is this where you're going with this RPG? That's the reason you're sold on it? Well, about? I was thinking we were just talking about RPG, so yeah, no, let's you're on. start with that. Okay, I'm down. I am excited to see how you can do fitness in an RPG style. Now, I'm down. Like, just give me this. I'm down for that. I I'll- know. It's like every time you mention that game, it's like you just have to do this. <laughs> I, know, I, I just see that guy doing this. I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm in. I want this game. I do want this game, actually. I think it looks I do pretty too. good. I miss having really good fitness games, and the fact that they're combining RPG with fitness game with this thing has me inter- interested in the first place. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder about the audience out there and how they're going to receive this, because obviously the RPG elements aren't going to be as deep as you might want them to be. No, exactly. An RPG isn't going to be for everyone, so... No. You know, like we mentioned in the video, you know, your grannies aren't going to be like, oh, <laughs> RPG fitness game. Anyway, Nat... That is coming out on the 18th, and we'll definitely be giving some imp- opinions when that comes out. That we will. On, again, on the 18th. Another yeah. 18th game. <sighs> 18th. <laughs> Tell you what, Nat. Don't be busy. Uh, we are also getting a hat in time. A hat in time finally has come to the Switch. I know. It's been like it's been a long time waiting for this game. But, but it has been. It's, it's uh, been lost in time. You you must be looking forward to this game. You, you are a big advocate of the 3d platforming genre now. i am i am i'm excited to give it a go i played a little bit of it on on the ps4 but i i knew it was coming to switch one day so i'm like i'm not going to get too far into it because i want to play it on there okay yeah i'm looking forward to giving it a go myself as well just yeah. more than i did on the on the ps4 because i i can only just dip my little pinky toe into that didn't exactly really, didn't we really did. give it much of a go and it did seem super cute the world seemed super fun. The platforming seemed really tight. So yep. I think there's a really good reason to jump into this game. And there'd be another video, but I can only link to so many. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Super Monkey Ball Banana Bits. Speaking of videos that I'd link to, Nat, um, this is coming out on the 29th. Hmm. And again, another game that I personally am kind of looking forward to a lot. <laughs> yeah, now this one you're more excited than I am. I Like I am because I haven't played a Super Monkey Ball game. I hear good things about them. And there's the type of game that I get into. These, these weird, quirky little platformer games and, and just rolling a bull round like this. That seems like fun. It seems like it could get really frustrating when then I'm like, get in your hole. But, you know, <laughs> maybe it's, it'll be fun. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Or oh, when you're falling off the edge, Jeffrey, couple of seconds, and you're like, yeah, now nah, I'm done. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Yeah. 
And that is the 29th, but on the 31st, I think everyone knows the last one we're going to be talking about I here. I think so too. There is no hiding the mansion from Luigi when we talk about Luigi's mansion. Well, maybe Luigi should hide from the mansion because he <laughs> won't get himself in these situations anymore. He should stop getting into these mansions. Actually, he shouldn't. <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't get to play any more of these games. No, no, that's exactly right. Now, <laughs> I, I cannot wait for this game. You can't wait for this? I'm so excited. Now, like, I, this was going to be the last segment. I was going to do a whole segment on Luigi's mansion, and I'm like, I don't stop talking about it. So I'm just going to do this quick little wrap, wrap up of, of Luigi's mansion to say I'm looking forward to this. The fact that we're getting DLC of the... Multiplayer modes doesn't excite me as much. I gotta, I gotta be honest here. <laughs> That's just a weird news that came out recently that we're getting DLC. Well, from what we've seen on the eShop listing, there's DLC coming to the multiplayer modes, but not the other yeah, modes. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's okay. I wish it was the, the main mode, but yeah, oh, okay. exactly. So give us a few more flaws when we finish the game. Yeah, let's not rule that out though. They still could happen. Exactly. You never and, know. And um, I think the game, yeah, it's just looking charming as anything. I love the look of these new zones and everything they're introducing. So I'm ready for Halloween. Nash. Exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs>